Hey guys, this is Joe from Mainline Overland. We're down here in the Charlotte, North Carolina shop and I want to do a quick walk around on this 2020 Tacoma we built with the Norwell Train Canopy. So first thing you might notice is this paint's a little different than something you would get from the Toyota factory. So this customer actually sent it down to a special shop in Texas. And this isn't Rhino Liner actually, it's actually full Kevlar coated. Um, it might not be bulletproof, but it'll, it'll certainly won't get scratched up like a normal paint job. So this customer decided to do a full seat delete um, in the rear seat. Uh, he's mostly traveling alone, so it made sense to ditch those rear seats to get some more storage space. Uh, if you come in here, you'll see um, he did a custom like aluminum molly panel in the back. So um, he mounts his normal table here. Um, there's a little bit extra room to mount some medical kits, um, you can mount a recovery kit in there kind of anything you don't want to keep in the camper. So if you uh, take a look in here and you lift up this uh, floor mat, you'll see that not only is the exterior of this truck uh, Kevlar coated, but the interior is coated as well. Uh, this is great for sound deadening and makes it a lot easier to uh, clean out. You actually put some drain plugs in here so you can just take a pressure washer and wash the truck out when it gets dirty. So now that we're around the front here, um, you'll see we, we went with a Victory off-road uh, front bumper. This is great, it's got a place for a winch. Uh, it also gives you some extra clearance in the front, better approach angle, and uh, gives you a little more clearance to run a bigger tire. Speaking of wheel and tire, we have a fuel wheel wrapped in the 285-75 uh, BFD KO2. It's one of our favorite tires. Uh, nice and quiet on the street, but still gives you some decent traction off-road. And then, uh, now moving up a little bit, we'll get to the suspension. Uh, we decided to go with an Old Man Emu PP51 kit. Uh, we really like the Old Man Emu kits. Uh, they have a great uh, powder coating kind of texture on them, so they're not gonna rust and get corroded like some of the cheaper options out there. So moving down the side of the truck, you'll see we got them set up with a set of mainline overland sliders. We had to modify them a little bit to work with the uh, flatbed here. So I actually had to cut these down and uh, we actually cut a middle section out of this and uh, re-welded it to make it fit with this. So now that we get a better look at the Norwell tray here, this came in as bare loom, then we sent it off to powder coat and kind of did the black powder coat with uh, some of the aluminum accents poking through. Um, this is an older model Norwell tray so it has the optional uh, water box here, which um, unfortunately they don't offer anymore. So one of the many benefits of doing a flatbed build is you have this optional rear rack, which makes it really nice to mount accessories such as back tracks or a shovel. Uh, I see a lot of people put a pair of roto, roto packs up here. Um, you can kind of mess around and put whatever you'd like back here. So now that we've taken a look at the outside, let's step inside the camper and check it out. First thing you see when you walk in, you'll have a little dinette seating area. So this is a rear dinette layout. Um, one of the many benefits of the rear dinette is you actually have the optional shower, which if you're if you're living in this thing long term, going out on the road for multiple weeks at a time, shower is a very nice option to have, give you some more creature comforts, and just make living out of this thing much more comfortable. So now we're taking a look at kind of the kitchen prep area, wash up area. Um, this has an 85 liter uh, uh, fridge, um, plenty of space to keep food and snacks, um, probably enough for a couple weeks out on the road. And then um, we upgraded to the optional flush mount sink and stove option. This is nice because you can put I've seen people put a big piece of wood up here, you can have a big cutting board and uh, kind of freeze up the counter space having the flush mount. And then uh, when you're ready to cook, all you do is flip that up. You got your stove right here, all plumbed in to the propane system. Uh, so kind of just light the burner and you can start making your coffee. And over here we have the uh, flush mount sink, which is a nice option, have running water in your camper. Um, kind of wash up, do dishes, wash your hands, brush your teeth, makes it a lot, lot more comfortable. Lastly, we'll take a look um, under here, pull up this cushion. Uh, flip with this little panel and then down in here you'll see um, you have access to the manager 30 system um, all your wiring circuit breakers everything kind of all in one spot so if you do have any kind of power issues there it's uh, much easier to diagnose because you know you just have to look in this one spot i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick walk around we did on this 2020 tacoma and flatbed four-wheel camper combo um, here at mainline overland this is what we love to do we love talking to customers seeing what their needs are and putting a full build together uh, for them this truck came in bone stock and uh, after it left our shop, it's fairly recognizable. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up.